Okay, we're going to present here a phacomorphic cataract and a floppy iris syndrome as well as a regular cataract. The floppy iris syndrome patient uh, is one in which I've stretched the iris. And now I'm going to start my capsulotomy and take a look at the tips. You can actually see, look at it closely, right there, the ablation, the ablation as we're ablating the anterior capsule. Uh, I've stretched the pupil, which you normally don't do. You can get away with this when you have plasma ablation. I lift up the uh, iris with a little viscoelastic, and now I'm going under the iris out of surgeon view and uh, making a large capsulotomy. I impale the nucleus with the phaco tip, pulling it out of the lens bag, and now I'm going to squirt viscoelastic behind this nucleus in order to push the posterior capsule back, and it will hold the nucleus up in the iris plane. And the purpose here is to manipulate the nucleus such that what you're phacoing will be near the very center of the pupil. Ergo, you are making a situation where you're in control and you're away from structures that you're going to damage. Again, I'm manipulating that nucleus, putting the portion that I want to nibble away at uh, right towards the center of the pupil. Uh, I could, uh, at this point, inject a little more viscoelastic, which is slowly being um, sucked out of uh, the eye uh, behind the nucleus to raise it up in the iris plane. But I'm very comfortable here. So I keep manipulating. I keep cracking. Here's another crack. And uh, those particles are slowly nibbled away in the uh, center of the pupil. And this really gives you terrific control over this procedure and takes uh, away the necessity for uh, iris hooks and uh, really reduces the stress on the surgeon. Take your time and nibble away the nucleus right in the center of the pupil. It's ideal. If you want more breathing space, squirt some more viscoelastic behind the nucleus and raise it up and use the nucleus as the pupil expander. And as you can see, I'm beautifully manipulating this nucleus right into the center of my uh, pupil and managing it in that way. Um, besides these more complicated cases, I could perform a very basic capsulotomy. And here it is. I'm gliding along the anterior capsule creating a beautiful fugo blade capsulotomy and these are ideal these are great because you can go in there and control those capsulotomies and if i want to make it larger it takes me a few seconds i glide in there and i control the surgery